Good afternoon, Mets fans, and welcome to a Friday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and the AL has crowned its champions. Last night, the Boston Red Sox defeated the Houston Astros to claim the American League pennant and stamp their ticket to Tuesday, where they will face the winner of the Brewers and Dodgers. The final two games of that series kick off this evening at Miller Park with the Brewers trailing three games to two. I want to talk about the NLCS a little bit today and um, talk about something that I saw in the ALCS that pertains to the Mets going forward. This is going to be a shorter than normal uh, episode, I think, uh, today. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the NLCS, but first I want to touch on the ALCS and um, the the unfortunate um, the unfortunate uh, fate of the Astros. Um, a lot of that having to do with um, umpire review and uh, that call from not last night, but two nights ago, on the Altuve home run fan interference um, issue, if you'll call it that. Um, interestingly, the, the same day that that happened, the Astros were accused of cheating. Um, I don't know whether there, there's any merit there. I really haven't looked into it, but um, you know, to use Sandy Alderson's term, bad optics, it is bad optics when a baseball team gets compared to the New England Patriots for, for cheating. Um, and again, I don't know if any of it is, is founded in, in legitimacy or, or not, but the bottom line is there was a rumor that the Astros have been stealing signs by utilizing someone um, next to the video cameras and relaying, maybe relaying some of that to the dugout or to the front office, whatever's happening. Um, it doesn't look good. And you might argue karma came back to bite the Astros, but the, the, the bottom line is um, the Astros lose. Uh, they do not return to the World Series. They will not defend their crown, uh, and the Red Sox win. And I, I thought the Astros were going to win the series. I really did. Coming into the start of the ALCS, the Astros were riding high, and the Red Sox had to really scratch and claw to defeat the Yankees. Uh, in the NLD in the ALDS rather, um, and you know a lot of it comes down to momentum. I think this happens a lot of times in in baseball, especially where the team that has the easiest path to wherever they're going, whether it's the playoffs or um, the division crown or the the championship series or the World Series, uh, the team that gets there with, with the least angst seems to be the one that loses most often than not. Um, the, the Astros really breezed by Cleveland and trampled into Boston to, to kick off the ALCS with a ton of momentum. And they won game one handily, and it looked like they were going to run away with it, uh, the, the ALCS. And the Red Sox answered with four straight wins. Um, they have yet to lose on the road in the playoffs, the Red Sox have. Uh, and... You know, the Astros, they, they blew right through Cleveland, and they, they didn't seem to have much competition with the Indians in their uh, division series. So, I don't know, there's something to be said for the, the hot team, the team that has to fight and claw to get to the next level and to get to the next round, um, seeming to have more of an edge and seem, being able to really counter uh, any adversity like the Red Sox did. Um, and look, let's, let's be honest, the Red Sox... Obviously, they won 108 games this year. They're they're not a they, they weren't a sneak into the playoffs with 85 wins wild card team. Um, but at the same time, um, they played the Yankees in a really tough division series, and they carried that um, that edge, if you will, uh, into the ALCS, and it, it led them to victory. The other thing that led them to victory was their defense, and this is where the Mets tie into this. Um, the the Red Sox and the Astros both actually play some stellar, stellar defense. Um, the the interference call, the fan interference call on the Altuve home run slash not home run, um, that was only possible because Mookie Betts is an unbelievable right fielder. 99% of the rest of baseball, 
in, in right field doesn't make that play a possibility because they aren't able to time that leap properly. They aren't able to get that far off the ground at, at the right time where their glove is right where the ball is going to land. I mean, so much of that play is a credit to Mookie Betts' ability, um, and it gets lost in what happened with the outcome of the play. Um, but, you know, stellar defense is certainly it certainly needs to be looked at more importantly um, with this new Mets regime that's going to be coming in, uh, more so than it has in the last almost decade or so with Sandy Alderson at the helm. You know, Alderson's value of defense um, is, is nowhere near as high as uh, it could or maybe should have been. And I think going forward, we're going to see a little bit more emphasis put on having more athletic players um, who can get to balls, who can make the potential for these plays to happen. You know, putting the ball in play is is one thing that you look at on the, the offensive side of the game, where you get a guy who isn't going to strike out and puts the ball in play. It increases his chances to get on base and to make something happen. The same can be said for defense. When you've got a good defensive team who can get, on, uh, get to balls and make the potential for a play, like that one in right field, uh, it makes all the difference. That's a two-run home run if Mookie Betts isn't a phenomenal athlete and doesn't make that play. So uh, I want to point that out for the Mets. I really do hope that the next general manager does look more seriously at how well the team can play defense. Moving on to the National League side of the of, of the, uh, the CS series, the NLCS, as I said, resumes tonight. The Brewers in must-win situation. Um, I don't know, man. I don't. I I, I I was really looking forward to a Brewers Astros World Series, and it's looking like the Dodgers might just repeat. Um, they they look like they're riding the momentum right now. The Brewers' offense has completely sputtered. They're not scoring. They're not hitting. Um, Christian Yelich has been kept in check by the Dodgers. Uh, it, it's 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 looking like the Dodgers are going to be back in the World Series, and they'll be losing to the Red Sox in the World Series. Um, but you know that that series resumes tonight um, in uh, in Miller Park in Milwaukee. Um, I do want to comment also on Manny Machado. This is also related to the Mets. Um, there's been a lot of talk about how this is the guy the Mets need to go out and get. He's an impact bat. He's a phenomenal player. All correct. All right. All true statements. He's a he's a phenomenal player. He's an impact player. Um, but. This might come off as old school. I don't want a guy on my team who willingly admits that he doesn't hustle. And Manny Machado willingly admitted, ah, it's not my cup of tea. I don't, I don't hustle. I'm not Charlie Hustle. He actually said it. And while that's a little bit refreshing for some people to hear, it's, it's, it's not a good thing for a, a 26-year-old who is looking to make the biggest payday of his life coming up in a few months, in a few weeks, actually. Um, openly admitting, I, I don't, I don't try that hard. I don't feel the need to try that hard. I, I don't like it, and I don't want, I don't want the Mets spending all of their money on a guy who makes it a point to say I don't care. And that's what Manny Machado is. Manny Machado is a guy who's flat out said, I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to hustle. I'm not going to do it. Um, I, I think the Mets can spend that money better elsewhere, and I hope they do. Um, that will uh, that will wrap it up for today. When I am back, it will be next week. The World Series uh, will be finalized. We'll know who's playing and who's representing the National League against the Red Sox. That does kick off next Tuesday, the thirtieth of the thirtieth, yeah, the twenty third of October, um, and we'll see what happens. I'm I'm pulling for the Brewers, but I don't know, man. I think the I think the Dodgers have their number. So we'll see. Until then, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. As always, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And let's go Mets.